Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Let's Learn This Together. And today we're gonna to figure out how to get our game running in the browser. So for the most part, it's a fairly simple process, but I'm gonna show you what can arise in a few different circumstances to help you debug it along the way. So normally when you run your game, it just runs on your computer, whichever system you've got. And it runs a little differently than, will, than it will in the browser. So if we click here, our game is working, we can play it, but this isn't where we want it. So instead, what we need to do is click up here and change the target build to HTML5. If you don't have this, you need to buy the module from YoYo Games. HTML is a permanent module, so you buy it once, you've got it forever. So once you have it, you just click on it, and now it's going to export to HTML5. And if we press F5, what it's actually gonna do is start running its own server in the background and then begin our game. So here we go. Now we can click game and play it, but you can see that, well, there's some issues. For one, your game might not look as good because it has a few issues when it's running locally. So when you upload it, it will probably fix most of those things. But here we have a room size issue and a camera issue. So I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna go back to the game. So this camera size issue is because normally in when you're running your game on your computer, the camera for the first room, those settings carry over to the next one. So the first one I've got here is the menu, viewports and everything is enabled and it's set to 1920 by 1080. But the next level we go to, which is level one, it doesn't have cameras and so it doesn't work. So we need to set a camera for each one of these for room level one and level two. And now if we try and run it, it will actually work properly. The, car the cameras will work for each room like you would expect. There we go. Now we don't have a weird background room showing up. Now, if your game is not centered or it's not showing properly, you gotta make sure that you have the correct viewport sizes. You're not gonna be able to just full screen it necessarily and have it work exactly as expected. I would recommend having it be in a smaller window and have it be windowed like that. To change some of the settings, you can come into HTML settings and on mine, you can go into graphics and you might want to disable interpolate colors between pixels that can cause some real uh, pixel art issues. And then I would recommend centering your game in browser. It just makes it look a little nicer. Okay, now if we click on build up here, we can click on create executable, except this time it's gonna give us an error because it's still running. And that's because it started a web server in the background so we could run our game locally. We need to actually press stop. Now it has stopped. We can come to build, create executable, package as a zip. We'll just name it xblast. I've got one on there from before, but I'll go ahead and delete that. And there we go. So it's saving it as a zip, which is what we want because that's what we're gonna upload to our server. Now, if you don't have a server you're gonna put this on, you can use Itch, which is a great place for hosting games and assets, which I've mentioned many times before. And you can put your game on here for free. So we can just go to here and go to Upload New Project. You'll need to make an account if you don't have one yet. You must give it a title or you cannot upload a game. Then we just go to Upload Files, click on your zip. It uploads really quickly. And then we just need to change up here the kind of project to HTML. Now we are embedding it in the page. We're gonna manually set the size to the camera size that we had before. Then we can click on save and view page. So our game is going to come right here. We can click run game and then it loads it up. And voila, our game is now running in the browser. Now we have one more issue here. And that is the first room actually has a screen size of 1920 by 1080. So I'm gonna come into room menu and I'm gonna change this size to 1366 by 768. Then I'm gonna go back to the build, create another executable, save over it, minimize it. And then we can click on draft back on HIO and this will take us right back to where we can upload a new version of our game. So I'll do that and press save, view page, and let's see if that fixed it. 
And voila, here's our game running and working as expected in the browser. So that's it. There are other issues you can certainly run into if you're converting your game from a desktop game to a HTML game, but for the most part, it just works as expected. If you run into any issues, let me know. And if you wanna see me cover any other topics related to HTML exports or games, then leave a comment down below or find me on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining me. And as I always say, keep making, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. A huge thank you to all of the awesome people who support me over on Patreon. Their names are on the screen now, and every dollar pledged helps me create more awesome content. You can support me for as little as $1 a month and get access to exclusive perks like my Discord server, your name in the credits, early access to my YouTube videos and courses, and more. Check it out at patreon.com slash letslearnthistogether.com or find the link in the description below and become a patron today.